When yeah. the fucking Manson family. Oh, that looks so weird. Big, massive, fat, lobby sticker, fat, lobby sticker. That's funny. That's no Australian way. culture. Evident. What are you drinking? What are you drinking? <laughs> Do a little dance. Do a little dance. <laughs> and then my account gets suspended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Skeptic and the Dude podcast. On Zoom. Oh, snap, boy. Way. <laughs> Woo, woo. Ah! Episode 48. <laughs> I was about to say 45, 44, guys. How are we feeling? Pretty good, man. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, man. Just did a fucking two hours of home gym this morning. Feeling fucking, fucking nice. fierce. Now nice. cooling down with a nice little black coffee, if you can say that. Yeah. A long black nice. coffee. Yeah, yeah. Still How are we doing, Still boys? Away. Good. Good? What you been up to? Well, um, I literally just finished a stream and then came straight onto this. Okay, on Twitch, yeah. How'd that go? Yeah, yeah, good. It's going good. Yeah, slowly building today. my empire of Sims. That's the way. It's going good. What were we playing today? What was the game? Fall Guys, classic, classic Fall Guys. Is that that one you were playing with? Hey, OMB, the one where you're all just squashed yeah. together and r- yeah, little jelly bean dudes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's See, why I didn't quite. That. I played it with AMB. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He fucking used right, what guys. was it? Um, a s- sniper. Stream Some kind sniping. of stream, stream sniping. sniping. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I told you, you your house that, was haunted, you? man. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. The boom. Was that someone walking on the decking? Like, I don't know. Maybe someone walks on the decking, the whole house shakes. Don't know. Could be a hippie that fell on the yeah. roof. I don't know. You know. Oh yeah, you are in Belgrave. Well, what was it? Um, um Billy was saying. There. What's the difference, really? I mean, in Belgrave, it's they're hard to tell. They, yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. The same kind. <laughs> okay, so the, the so the streaming again. How many listeners did we get today? Are we are we at? It, it, sorry, I keep fucking asking you this, but where where are we up to now in the in the steps towards? Well, I've got everything except for the followers. I've got yeah, twenty eight okay, followers. followers. So I need yeah. fifty followers, and that's it. No, so not so all the viewers are fine. You've got you've had your minimum yep. viewers. You've got all them sorted. Okay, that's yep. all right, man. Sweet. Got two two guys who are chatting constantly in my chat now. Is that the cool. the Canadian or the the, the Texas the Texan the, and the uh, Pakistan? So Pakistan, yeah. And then we've got another American. I don't know where he's from, but okay. American. And the, and that Sweet. Texas guy comes in every now and then as well. And then we've got a few Aussies that can come in as well and talk Woo. to me. It's cool. That's good. Oh, it's 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 going it's going alright. It's right, getting there. Slowly but surely. Keep, that's good. That's the way, man. Just keep, keep pumping the, it out. Keep it going. Mm. It's the way. It's the way. Hell yeah, man. What about you, Zane? What have you been up to? Not much. Not much. Not much at all. No, just hanging out. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. Hanging out trying not to go insane. Mm. Oh, we all. Yeah, I tried watching mm, yeah. a, a couple of horror movies the other day. Of course, I watched Freddy vs. Jason with uh, Billy on yep. uh, the Thursday night after we did the Billy and Brandon show. Check that out mm. on my uh, my channel. Um, yeah, so that was good for the uh, tenth fucking time that I've seen that. Mm. <laughs> but see, that was the that was the film that I think that that was I think the first film I saw as a kid. That really disturbed me. I, w- I would have been about nine, and, and I was just in my dad's room, and mum was out somewhere, so we were just staying up with dad watching movies. Got to about ten o'clock, and Freddy vs. Jason's on. I'm like, oh, what's this about, dad? And he goes, oh, well, basically, there's this guy that kills kids in their sleep, and then, well, there's this other guy with a with a machete that kills kids who have sex by crystal light. I thought, hang on, but that's not that that's not real, is it? He goes, oh no, no, it's real, it's real. So that so we he got inside my head with that yeah. whole description, and, and so we're sitting in bed watching it, and 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 you know, so seeing these two famous killers come together, and I am just terrified because you know, looking at, it, I mean, even watching it now, it's like I can see why this kind of shit is terrifying, you know, yeah. for, for for a kid to watch. I mean, it, it's not so much now. Now it's hilarious to watch because it's so stupid, mm. but you know. And and I think so. so I was see, seeing that film, and I was about nine. That scared the shit out of me. And then I was so terrified I was gonna have a dream about Freddy Krueger, and then him luring 
Jason to kill me as well, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know. <laughs> but yeah, so we watched that, and um, and yesterday I, I was going through my collection of DVDs, and uh, you know, because you know, sometimes you'd be you'd find yourself at JB Hi-Fi and see age old thing. You'd you find something, and then it, it says on it two for twenty. Or yep. three for thirty, or something like that. And you go, oh well, I can't just buy the one, even though this is all I fucking came in here to get. You're like, oh, yeah, Christmas yeah, sales. Yeah. All right, fuck it. I guess I got to buy two more. So this was in in the horror section at the back. Now I was looking through it, and, and I think I found it was Evil Dead Two, and I thought, fuck yes, got to get that. And so I picked that out, and then it was yeah, two for twenty, and I was like, oh shit, what else is there? And I just kind of, I said, oh, I'll just grab one on a whim and pulled out Haunting in Connecticut. Now, yep. like we were talking about last week, DVD covers tend to be a hell of a lot more horrifying than what the than film the actually film. tends to be. Yeah, because you can edit a picture so much more than you can edit a video. It's insane. So mm. I picked that out thought, fuck, that looks terrifying. So I took that out. I was watching it yesterday. Now, it was made about 2009, I think. I was watching it, and it was just so fucking shit. It was like, like, cause I, cause see, this was 2009, so a few years before Conjuring came in, and then they started, you know, going at kind of a, you know, a different kind of path of horror films. Mm. But this one was just, it was so generic and so poorly executed. It was just, it was just, you know, it was just so, so monotonous and that. It was like a Netflix horror film, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. B-grade. Like, like, think of. Mm, like, like, kind of like those films that were made, like those haunted house type films that were made in the early two thousands, and now only Netflix makes exactly. They're just they're, they're the same, mm. the same story over and over again. But then, yeah, and, and then and I the watched, acting. yeah, exactly that too. Well, then, uh, funnily enough, I found a DVD. I'll actually grab it for you. The um, it was called. The... It, so. Arthur Daly's down the road. Uh, years ago, they uh, they probably still do now, but when they first opened up, my dad and I were checking it out, and they had this whole rack of films, all these movies. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. And my dad picked out a bunch because they were really cheap. And my dad picked out this one, which has been on our shelf for years, but no one's ever watched it. It's called Good Against Evil. And okay. it's got this quite a... Uh, it's got an you know, ass on the screen. Yeah, that's it. Quite a quite a kinky um, cover, and um, and I saw that, and I kept seeing. It, I thought, oh, that looks scary, and a bit in a bit bit too saucy for me, mm, for ten year old yeah, me, yeah. you know. And and then as I came to realise that you know these DVD covers a lot of the times so are false advertising. Well, this one certainly yep. fucking was because I don't remember seeing that ass at all in the fucking movie, let alone a blonde haired woman in the movie. <laughs> it didn't exist. <laughs> But and it says the slogan is she became Satan's plaything, and it's all about this this um, this girl who is beset by the devil because when she was a child, when she was born, her dad uh, you know sent her off to Satan or whatever, and then this guy falls in love with her years later down the track, and the whole film, as I later realised, it was meant to be a a, a pilot, a TV pilot. That was made oh. in 1977, in in the hopes to uh, to get producers on board with it, and it was such an embarrassment that I think they because they, they just because so, went watching this, it hasn't even been remastered as a film. It's just done as TV movie. So I'm watching it. It's been remastered by this company called Devil Doll DVD, which do all these B grade horror films. And I'm watching it, yeah. and I'm thinking. The sound's terrible, and the cuts are all designed... It's like I've just watched it after recording off the television, because it keeps yeah. cutting, and then it's like, okay, that was obviously a fucking ad break. <laughs> and and I think, because what they tried to do with it is, it's like a combination of The Exorcist and Rosemary's Baby. So it like right. it starts with a Rosemary's Baby type thing. Okay, yeah, girls beset by the devil as a child. And then the very and then there's like all this boring monotonous shit for like an hour in the middle of this love story, and then that fucking goes nowhere because then the wife who turned out to be beset by the devil turns into a cat, and then right at the end the guy meets another girl and her daughter is possessed by the devil, and then a priest comes in and gets that. So it was like it, so I think the idea was that hopefully producers would like this enough so that we could continue it because it only went for like an hour and twenty minutes, and then mm. it ends with the guy leaving trying to find. 
his girl who he's who he lost, who's actually a cat waiting for him at the bus stop, and it just yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Yeah. Wow. It it kind of reminds me like in some of the, I can't remember what film it was, but there's this Netflix horror film that I watched, and you know, you're talking about cuts. There was this one where it was so bad, like I the whole time I was watching it, I. I couldn't help but notice it, but the thing is, they mm. would film a scene and they would linger too long on a character once they've said that line. There's right. this space between where someone said a line and then you got their reaction, and it's it's a, it's a couple seconds too long. You know what I mean? Like when when you have yeah. a, mm. like a reaction to something and it's just too long, it's awkward. Yeah, and it kept happening constantly. So like they'll be having conversations. So like, oh yeah, I'm doing good today. Then cut. And I, right. I'm just kind of like, oh my god! And it would keep doing that, like throughout the <laughs> film. So like, she'd freak out. She go, ah, <clears throat> yeah, cut, and then it go, <laughs> like constant thing. And I was sitting there like, oh my god! And not to help that the acting was shit. It mm. it just it just lingered on the scene or well, each each like shot too long, like a one yeah. second too long. And it's so awkward like it's to so ob- it yeah so awkward and so obvious that mm. oh, well, someone break. would finish Sweet. talking and it'd be like. Mm. And then it would go, and then so so that was a so that so that was a ne- a Netflix film, was it? Yeah, it wasn't like those like, ad breaks. It was just poorly yeah. filmed. I think. Okay, or just, just awkward. Chopped yeah. up, right? They didn't edit it right. Yeah. But I was just watching. I was going mm. far out. This is bad. <laughs> yeah. You got cheesy acting, and then you've got to linger on that cheesy face a little bit longer yeah. than you need yeah. to. Yeah, disma- and it's almost like. And their defense would probably be, "Oh, that's to make because it's a horror movie. That's that's to make it more uncomfortable." It's like, yeah, mm. but. When the acting's bad, that just makes it uncomfortable for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There's nothing good we can say about that. You just, you yeah. just the one thing that makes you think is, wow, this is a shit movie. <laughs> it doesn't make you think, yeah. oh, that's quirky and weird. It makes you think, yeah. this is disgusting acting. <laughs> what am I yeah, looking at? And, 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 it makes you and think about not... the production of the film, which is not what you're meant to have your audience think mm. about. Well, that's it's, it. It's it's a film. It's it's not supposed so you can see. Okay, yeah, I can see they fucked up there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you, you shouldn't. Have yeah, you the, shouldn't the necessarily feel like you're watching the rough cut of a film. This should be, you know. <laughs> but see, I mean, yeah. un- unless they're trying to show subtext or they're trying to show something, yeah, pauses like that just like it works with some films, like The Godfather. You know, it's it, it, mm. it, it's the it's the subtle nature. It, it's that art form. It's you know. But when it's every but that, single But it makes shot, sense. <laughs> it's yeah. like... Let me get, is is the climax that. like that too? When it's all fast-paced? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but they're still going... <gasps> like, they're still doing it, but it's too long. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they, like you can tell it's meant to flick to a different person or something. So, mm. like, they're going, oh, my God. And then it cut, and it's like, fucking hell. Yeah. And I just remember, and I just also remember when it was raining, but it wasn't raining in the film as well. It's like they had sound okay. effects of rain, but there was no rain <laughs> at one point. Like she was running on the outside, and it was like, I think it was like you could hear like yeah, happening, okay. and then you just don't see anything. And then when she's in the car, <laughs> you see like these droplets going onto the. It was mm. so dumb. Like the whole time, I was just thinking, "Oh my god, <laughs> this is fucked." I can't remember what it was, but it was just bad. The whole thing was mm. bad. <laughs> was it the babysitter? The babysitter? Maybe. Maybe. It's got... Who's it got in it? I watched a few of them. Uh, Samara Weaving, that one? Uh, yep, it. it's about a satanic cult. Mm. Maybe. It's got Bella Thorne, Robbie Amell. You know, I, I mentally mm. f- tried to forget what the movie the was. The name that that's how bad it. it was, yeah. No, but Babysitter wasn't actually that bad. No, I don't think it would have been that one. That that one was actually... You don't think it was that one? Not not, not, not badly done. That was... <laughs> Some other ghost thing. Maybe it might have been like... Yeah. Uh, not Lights Out. It might have been like... There was a Netflix movie. What was that? Something Witch? Maybe it could have been a witch movie. Witch. Mm. It was something to do with watching... ghosts and priests and yeah. shit. You know, the... Uh, I think... Yeah, I think I remember watching a film a few months ago that was on there, and it was it was some it was something like oh the girl that lives something like the girl that lives on the third floor or something like that, which didn't make sense because it's I don't know it was weird, but it was like this guy 
who, who had moved into this house and he was trying to clean it up and stuff. And the guy's not an actor. He, he's a professional fighter. <laughs> and and oh. now he's acting. And, and it was just this god-awful film that was just so, you know, it was so predictable and it was just so unnecessarily <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> and Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, I'm just had no I'm value. Horror section to see if I can find. Try it. and find it. Mm. Mm. Genres. Uh, I was further update, Brandon, on yeah. discussion to Good Against <gasps> Evil. No way. Yeah. Um, I figured, what better place to see what are people asking for this from eBay? And uh, the lowest price you can swoop up it for is two dollars and eighty-seven cents, plus two dollars fifty-five for shipping. <laughs> well, you know what? That's probably how much I paid for it. <laughs> and the most expensive is seventeen ninety five plus seventeen thirteen for shipping. Jesus. Well, that definitely wow. wouldn't be coming from. Uh... What's it called? Never mind. Um... <laughs> Don't you hate that? You forget the fucking name of some company. Yeah, it's... Never mind. But yeah, okay. Right. Well, Sorry, what's in the way, what, reaction... what is? Oh. Yeah, okay. no, what? Your reaction? I was, I was just going to say, my reaction was to something else. That was, I just saw on Netflix that I didn't know was on Netflix that I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> what was that? The Shining. The Shining is on Netflix. I was like, oh, yes. Oh, okay. Anyway, continue. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, I don't really know. Oh, yeah, yeah, well... The other thing is I found interesting was that this film, in reading a review for this after I watched it, it said that uh, Good Against Evil is, like, it's no surprise that it's public domain because even, the you know, no one wanted to hold the copyrights to it because they were just so disappointed in it. <laughs> it was just, you know, one of those things. Because there's that website that, um, I think I've got it actually up here, good to go, the, the Internet Archive which has just got everything that's all, you know, all for public domain, books, movies, software, music, websites, and all that kind of stuff. I had Leo show it to me, and I thought, shit, man, you can make a fucking movie out of this. And he goes, yeah, I know, but it's so fucking hard to find stuff worth looking at because it's just so endless, you know, because everything on it, it's free to use because there's just no copyright against it at all. You know, it's like a, a lot of um, Golden Age Hollywood and that. But yeah, really interesting. Mm. I couldn't find the movie, by the way. I was looking okay. for it. I think it might have been taken off. They probably took it down, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... Yeah, it was. How bad. long ago did you watch it? It was two years ago. Okay, yeah. So, but yeah, it probably would have been taken off, but it, it was it was bad. I, yeah. I remember I mean, watching this, this really weird um, low-budget film, which wasn't half bad. It was just very weird and trippy. Uh, John dies at the end. Hmm. You guys okay. heard of it? It was this... It was Wait, on is Netflix it called for John Dies at the End? Yeah, yeah. So is it a spoiler for its own... Yeah, it might as well be, because very quickly, for very early in the on, you find out who John is, and you go, oh, what, that guy's gonna die? Fuck. But yeah, it... <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 weird. It, it's a very fucking weird, weird movie. All, all multi-dimensional and supernatural. Film a spoiler, like like imagine yeah. the Avengers: Infinity War, where it's called Avengers. Every superhero dies in the end. Yeah, <laughs> but see, the weirdest thing is, Joel. If Avengers I tell like you the if, if 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 I tell you what actually happens, it would spoil the ending. So oh, right. you know, it's okay. it's it's an I it's a. You have to watch the movie to understand. It's just, it's an ironic. It's, it's, it's an, it's irony. Okay. It's, a, it's an ironic kind of title, but um, but yeah, yeah, that was that was weird. But I thought that was like the only good horror film that I think was on Netflix at the time in 2015. Yeah, <laughs> Harry Potter, Voldemort dies. <laughs> <laughs> dies no, no, at sorry, the end. Harry actually, Potter, actually, the death of yeah. the death of Voldemort. <laughs> That's like the very first one, Harry Potter, and by the way, Voldemort doesn't die officially until the eighth episode, <laughs> part two. Well, so I went and looked up uh, your John Dies at the End, just to look yep. at the reviews, and this is one that stands out to me, and you can tell me whether or not it's a correct review, Brandon. Okay. John Dies at the End, directed by Don Caracioli, is part stoner comedy, 
part gut bucket horror and part sci-fi allegory. That's that pretty much sums it up, yeah. And yeah, because John, I'd say John isn't really the main character. He, he's like the sidekick of this guy. Yeah, it's basically just a couple of stoners going through this weird, gory supernatural thing, and yeah, it's 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 pretty good. It's it's pretty funny. And and I thought, and then finding out it was only made for like a million dollars, I thought, fuck, okay, that's that's great. You know, it's good to see what you know what can be made for yeah, you know, yeah, on the on, on the independent side of cinema. But yeah, hmm. <clears throat> oh, I watched uh, Cars three yesterday with my sister. That was yeah. boring as fuck. <laughs> and look, I'll, I'll tell you why. Look, the problem, the biggest problem I had with it was that because Cars, Cars two. Were, didn't really do so well and they're like Let, let's make cars 3 and let's go back to the original let's go back to what what car so i think cars 3 is essentially what cars 2 should have been so i'd yeah. be happy if that was the case but the problem is cars 2 was made and all i care about now is spies in england and you know you yeah. know them doing all that cool shit and made her being a, an agent you know i think that kind of shit was cool meanwhile you know doing the grand prix but cars 3 it's like, okay, back to the old roots. Yeah, Lion McQueen's still racing and all that stuff. And then, but then he gets beaten by this other guy. And then he's thinking, damn, he goes, oh, I guess I'm, I'm kind of, I'm getting old. I'm, I'm, you know, looking to retire or whatever. And then he, and then he's hanging out in Doc Hudson's shed after he had a pretty bad accident. And he's, he's watching and stuff. And he thinks, damn, man, I got to get training again. And then he finds out that the guy who beat him was using all this modern technology to help him, like to train and that. He's at this, this, basically like this gym. And they have this VR machine. And he starts training with him. He goes, oh, this is shit. I just want to go on the VR machine. And then he finally does and he fucking destroys it. And then, and then um, his trainer, his personal trainer, she takes him out to the beach or whatever. And then in the end, it, it kind of switches. Then Lightning McQueen starts teaching her racing and that. And then mm. you find out that it was her dream after she, he gets angry at her for something. And she goes, oh, well, look, it was, you know, I was your biggest fan growing up because that was all I wanted to be. I wanted to be a racer, but I couldn't, you know, I, I, I never got there in the end. And I think it's also kind of an underlying thing of also because she was a woman as well. It, it was a lot harder mm. to to do it as well. And then and then in the end, it's all about how yeah. Then McQueen decides, well, maybe I should, you know. So then he starts training her, and then gets her to be the next, you know, Lightning McQueen. Which yeah, you know, in that case, that would have been fine if that was just the second movie. But instead, it, <laughs> you know, we got what Cars yes. was initially, Why and then we shit? went to yeah, exactly. Fucking James Bond and all that Wasabi? kind of shit, and then yeah, no one eat the free pistachio ice cream. Yeah, classic. <laughs> you know, because that was the thing. Cars one was great, but then Cars two—that's the guilty pleasure of the of the trilogy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see Planes? Remember that came out a few uh, years after I think Cars so. two. I think I yeah. watched a bit of Planes, and I thought, "Fuck this!" And I just left. Yeah. Yeah, and then they made a follow-up to it, Fire and Rescue, a year later. Did they really? Fuck. Yep. So it was planes where Dusty Crop Hopper is trying to become a racing plane. Yeah, I saw that and one. And then I never saw Fire and Rescue. Uh, he's a celebrity racer now with a fantastic career. He trains to become a certi- certified firefighter, even as his career his career is coming to an end. Right. Planes. Interesting. I don't think there's much you yeah. can do with planes, to be honest. Well, like I mean, movie when the makes film makes more sense because they're grounded and they've got more things. Yeah, but, planes but then, is... but then, but the thing is, though, in cars there are planes. Well, you see the uh, the um, the Goodyear blimp flying around yeah. over the stage. I think I'm pretty, and you do see mm-hmm. planes in that occasionally. It's like, well, it's just a universe. It's like, well, you know, I think planes mm-hmm. is the spin-off no one asked for. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> like a lot of things, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> And, and then thought, they well, cars went well. Let's make planes. Let's make mm. boats. Mm. Yeah. No, well, I'm pretty sure that was a meme, to... wasn't it? Was it? Were you gonna say Zane? Uh, they tried to actually link the two movies together. So mm. Disney released okay. a whole bunch of short, like Cars and Planes. They released a whole bunch of short, um, car Cars tunes. They called them. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, so they made yeah, all... yeah. I think they're like the ones yeah, they so play they in did... the cinema before a movie. Yeah. Yeah, so they did one called Air Mater, and it's basically he goes to Prop Wash Junction, which is where they have Dusty Crop Hopper come from, 
And okay. he gets trained by the Admiral to um, be a f- flying show plane or whatever. Mm. Awesome movie. Fantastic. Well, see, that's where I think Cars 3 probably would have worked better as a short or maybe a series of shorts because it was just... I mean, it was only about 90 minutes long, but it was still just like, oh, this is so depressing. That was the thing. It was depressing. It was just like, oh, I can't even watch this. (laughs) Yeah. You know. So let's make it Cars 4. Fuck, man. Have you ever thought about the fact of how similar Cars and Fast and Furious movies are? I was actually thinking that in the second... Th- when he mentioned the second Cars movie, I was thinking Fast and that Furious. That is... Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, like... the, the Yeah, the original Fast and Furious is like Cars. Very and then simple. Cars 2 is like all the other fucking Fast and Furious that came after. The yeah, that's newer a good point. ones. And yeah. then the third one is a lot like... Which... A number... Or... Sorry, I'm um, Fast and Furious movies I can talk about for days. Really do you bad. know? Do you know which one you're thinking of, though? Yeah, I'm honestly. I reckon it's number seven. Yeah, that's what where, I was thinking. Where they kill off Paul Walker. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. It's more like that one. Mm. Did you watch Hobbs and Shaw? I did. Was it shit? Thoughts? <sighs> it's kind of like they had to do something to build, it, like build the universe further if they're going to kill it off after two more movies. Mm, but they don't need to build it further. They should have. I, I reckon they should have just ended it at seven. Because mm. I think seven was a good ending. They yeah, say goodbye to yeah, Paul I, Walker. It's all sad, yeah. you know. It's mm. a good ending. Mm. But then they made it's eight. It's been a long and day. And I was man. like, okay. And I never watched mm. eight. Mm. And I don't think the I ever will. The fate of the furious. And then they ma- yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they made Hobbs and Shaw. And I went, okay, I'm definitely not watching anymore. <laughs> mm. Eight wasn't that was- bad. So I was just thinking that so what we're saying the spin-off of then Hobbs and Shaw. I thought imagine if Cars did that, but it's the uh, the two Italians. I forget what were their fucking names. The uh, 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 Luigi and who was who was uh, forklift? Ramon? No, it's not Ramon. Luigi and Guido. Oh, Guido, yeah. yeah, of course. Sorry, I should have known. Yeah, typical Guido, <laughs> Italian yeah. names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Guido and Luigi, if they, if they then do that. And they go to space for some spy mission. Mm, <laughs> that'd be cool. That'll be the next uh, Fast and Furious film. But haven't they made nine? Isn't that what? Isn't that isn't, what? Isn't, isn't, so isn't Cardi B in it or something? Uh, she oh, this is. is, is they okay. made the. They've made a ninth one. It also has John Cena in it. <laughs> of course. Um, and then, then Mark Wahlberg the- will be in the tenth one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, in number nine, they're bringing Han back. Oh, the guy that died really early on. In the, the guy they killed off in Tokyo Drift, who they... Why oh, did they bring him back? Okay, yeah. So he's not actually dead now because they did a whole thing where it's like effectively they've made it so it's really hard to explain. They don't characters aren't getting killed off if that makes more sense. Yeah. They're so does that like mean does that does that mean then then Gal Gadot will come back as well? <laughs> I think that too. she. Come back? I yeah. think she's out out, but it's like it's the okay. second time they're bringing someone back because they brought mm. back Michelle Rodriguez who plays right. Letty, mm. and she lost her memory or whatever. But yeah, that's so they're bringing worked, Han though. back. Mm. Han, well, Han gonna lose know. his memory too. I don't think so. I think Han will have like narrowly escaped the explosion because if you look at the explosion, mm. they actually never show you a grand view of the explosion. They show the cars yeah. explode, and that's it. Mm, that is a good point. Oh, but, but it also then, does sound like they're no, but, squ- really squeezing for content. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but no, future but didn't, movies. Didn't they, didn't they, from what I remember, in when they did finally have, to, when they got up to speed up to the year when he died, didn't they show it like his assassination? Yeah. So they showed they I'm showed that, sure. but then but then they actually went and showed you what what happened after you thought it exploded. It was actually it was actually. The Jason Statham character, or whoever the fuck it was that that killed him, it was him. Jason Statham's character. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe maybe Jack Quick because now Jason Statham is apparently a good guy, I assume, because then him and yeah, The apparently. Rock became best pals. So maybe he didn't kill. Maybe he had some heart. Like, maybe he didn't kill anybody. Or something <laughs> went psycho. 
Yeah. He's like, uh, everything's and- about family. Then in eight, he's like, fuck family. <laughs> nah, it's so- like, okay. <laughs> Like, Number eight, like his whole whole thing, and he's turned around. And it's like yeah, he all just right, throws it out the fucking window. Yeah. When I, but the to fat. be honest, when I saw that though, when I saw that he became the bad guy, that's why I didn't watch it. That's oh, why I'm oh, like, yeah, mm, yeah, so me. I'm I was done. like, oh, respect like, this done. guy. I thought I've spent all this, I've spent the last six months trying to get get up to speed with this so I could watch the seventh one, and now nice. you fucking throw this on me. No, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but yeah, no, and they're it? like, oh, he's now bad, and it's like, and and he's now good. I'm like, this sucks. You guys are out of no. ideas. But yeah. So the reason they did the whole thing, sorry, Joel. Uh, the, right. Do you have in, intentions of watching number eight or no? no. <laughs> no. Yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> so the whole reason they did the thing with number eight about um, Dom's now turned evil is yeah. so the FBI agent who they introduced in the third or fourth one who Dom was dating before he found out Letty was alive. Oh, yeah, yeah that chick. Yep. Yeah, uh, so she gave birth to Dom's child. Right. And so the villain, the actual villain of it is uh, Charlie's Theron's character. And okay. she has gone and like taken him. So Rock uh, and Statham are recruited by that Mr. Nobody again to stop it. And then they throw like a nice message to Paul Walker and call Dom's baby Brian. Oh, that's nice of them. Okay. So that's how they target your heartstrings. They ended it in <laughs> yeah. Furious Seven, mm. and then yeah. n- number nine is um. So Dom has an unrevealed brother or something. Oh my Jesus. god! Jesus, so much un- unrevealed stuff happening all of a sudden. Yeah, unrevealed and unwanted. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, you look at it and you think, shit, not even Star Dude. Wars had this many reveals. <laughs> yeah, no, you know? no, number 10 is just, like, it was all a simulation, and it actually, yeah, back, that's it, act, it, was just, it was just because he was and in then, a coma from a really bad crash in the first movie, that he just didn't mention know Mention that. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, Dom, it does, Dom it, made it, it up. It, it, it took, it took, like, the weirdest turn. You had the first one of the Furious, and then Too Fast, Too Furious, where you got Therese Gibson and Paul Walker, and then it's all gangster shit, and then it's like, and, and the then Tokyo Drift. Drift, and then so it was just yeah. a trilogy, and it was like, okay, cool, they're three different types of movies, and then it's like, okay, and now it's, now we're bank, we're robbing banks, we're doing all this kind of shit, where, yeah, and <sighs> assassinations, man. and then yeah, and then really cool ways to end a franchise, and then pushing it mm. too and far then, like Star Wars. Hey, can. these make actually pretty good money. Let's keep fucking doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Sorry if you like it, Zane. I'm just. I'm just. I, I guess it's just kind of my opinion that they should have finished at seven, and mm. you know what I mean. It's just everything else, it just kind of seems. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I agree they should have ended it at seven, but I'm mm. like, I watched it just yeah. for the pure and simply thing of I've seen it, and then now I can see the nine one and be happy, calm, collected that I've seen them. Fair enough. Fair enough. But should they yeah, make yeah. more though, Zane? Do you think nine's a good number, or should they go for ten? Well, I guess technically they've always said they're, they're going to end it at ten. Okay. Hang on. So at, at ten, but movies will or they? 10 Fast and Furious movies. Because 10. Hobbs and Shaw is a spin-off, so they might do more spin-off movies. Yeah. So ten main timeline movies. They always say they were going to end it with ten of them. Right. Right. For the main timeline, so that's where they have the last timeline movie after this where mm. Paul Walker's brothers who filled in for him in those scenes where he passed away in the seventh one, yep. they want to have them come in and film a cameo so that Paul Walker's still involved in the last Fast and Furious movie. No, okay. So I was right, Paul If that Walker makes returns. sense. Mm, yeah, so that's what they'll do. Yeah. Yeah. In the tenth so one, yeah, that's I don't what know. say. But... I think I I can understand if it's like a tribute or whatever, but it's just like the, the it's that's too much of a thing. Like it was in uh, in a lot of the Star Wars films, you know. Like we had the whole it, it was like watching a deep fake in those, you know, like Carrie Fisher as you know as young yeah. and everything, and the lips all moving weirdly, you know, and then the general, and then all that other kind of stuff. And, and I think a couple of years ago, I remember they were talking about that they were going to make a film. With starring James Dean, but it's entirely in CGI. You right. know, and they thought, hey, and producers like, oh, this is a great idea. People will love this. You know, we'll be where we're using CGI to make actors, and every single fucking actor 
call them out for, I went, no, this is fucking ridiculous. This is such a disservice to the industry, yeah. and it's just, it, it's just horrible. You know, who's the who would ever have thought this was a fucking good idea? We're making, you know, you're essentially just you're just creating them. You know, you yeah, know? it's just mm. pathetic. It's like, okay, so what's the point of of using actors, and if you're just going to use CGI for absolutely everything? You mm. know, he's like, but oh, we can get the like... voice likeness as well. Mm. But I also feel like not to say that you know. It, it wear off with the tributes to Paul mm. Walker, but if you just cram it constantly, like if I imagine if they did a Stan Lee thing every single Marvel film after he passed away, you know, and then you go, mm. okay, and then it's going to become not as hard hitting when it first happened. You know what I mean? Because mm. yeah. in Seven, super hard. I, I I think I cried, you know, shed a couple of tears. But, but then if you like constantly push it, constantly happening, like, yes, it's nice. But it's also it kind of mm-hmm. ruins that moment that you created originally. Yeah, yeah. And and you know I can respect the tribute, but you know mm. I mean, but it sounds like it'd be. T- I mean, what well, you're saying is that that they're going to try and get him in for the tenth one. What do you reckon it would be? Just like a small little scene that they. Ju- it'd have to be something really minuscule. It'd just be like. Hey, what's yeah. Brian up to now? Oh, he's just hanging out. The oh, whole cool. thing will be like something like Dom going and talking to like he'll be thinking about it's time for him to get out or whatever of mm. everything and going and like having that final moment with Brian of like yeah okay you know it just just made me think I I, am I, I can just it too far yeah I can just I can just imagine it'd be something like it, it'll be one shot and it will be it it'll be him getting out of his car. And uh, and Paul's just sitting there, the back of his head. He's just there smoking a joint, just looking out at the su- at the sunset by the beach. And he sits down and joins him for a beer. And then okay, like that would be good because then there's not a yeah. whole lot of CGI they have to do. It'd just be implied, and then that way they don't have to spend a fuck ton of money into the CGI of it all. Yeah. That or could even work. if they did like him hosting the final barbecue, and you just see the um, Nissan Skyline drive up as if he's coming mm. to that final yeah. barbecue with his family. Yeah. Yeah, True. exactly. I mean, you can imply it. You know, you can imply. You don't necessarily have to show it, you know. Mm. But yeah, that could be cool. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. And we're back. So, we are back. now we're going to do a cheeky little segment we like to call Would You Rather? Now, Zane's put together a nice little PowerPoint for us, finding the most disgusting and most awfully uh, ones he can find. Mm. Oh. Oh. Would you rather? So you and your girlfriend made this one? Yep, me and the significant other have uh, carefully selected the best of the best for this. Awesome. Sweet. So if it's really bad and it gets us banned, just know that those two came up with That's it right, together. That's why we can we can blame it on them exactly right. Yeah. Cool. We're not accountable. It's just our reactions. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather stub a toothpick through your big toe or hacksaw off your thumb? Ooh. Hacksaw off my thumb. So, for further detail with this one, the way I no, you don't need it, to. You don't need to go in further. I know what you're trying to say. I'm already cringing. You don't have to say it. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about kicking a wall. I know. You don't yeah. have to. Don't go into detail, please. Just for the just for the listeners, don't go into detail. It makes me really cringe, and that's why I'd rather like, hacksaw my thumb off just to save myself the cringy thought of doing the toothpick. In reality, I would do the toothpick. But I'm saying hacksaw off the thumb because I don't want to th- have the cringy thought on my <laughs> you brain. You don't want to think of it. Wall. Yeah. Yeah. Look. I. Yeah. I. I'd go the first option. I. I'd. You know. I'd stop the big toe through a toothpick. I mean, I've actually, actually, my 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 old man's had that happen, not with a tooth. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, with with a toothpick, actually, because I remember as a kid, I'd I, I'd pretend they were cigarettes, and I'd put like a little bit of red on the end and pretend I was smoking, uh, uh, you know, a toothpick, and then I think one time I dropped them on the floor, and my dad, you know, his foot went through one of them. So you know, it's painful, but fuck hacksawing off your thumb. Interesting. Okay. So you'd Ready hacksaw off your one. thumb, Joel, for the for just just for the mere fact no, you don't want in, to think no, no, about no, no, a toothpick no, no. going through your big toe. That's the only reason. I would no. I would do the toothpick thing. Is just I said hacksaw off my thumb because I don't want to think about. It. 
<laughs> so you'd rather Joel had to think about it. The real choice I would pick is doing the stub. All right, but good. for the sake of listeners, but it doesn't matter anymore at this point, but I'll, I was going to say hacksaw off my thumb because I don't want the thought in my brain because it makes me cringe mm. like crazy. Look, I'd rather eat razor blades than do either of those things. <laughs> yeah. But that would do more damage than... Anyway. All right. Would you rather explosive diarrhea every time you meet your boss or every time you meet your significant other's parents? Ooh. Boss. I'd go with boss because you probably won't see... I don't know. You could just blame it on something if it's your boss, but if it's the significant other's parents, it'll be a little bit weird constantly going to the yeah. bathroom all the time. You know what I mean? Hmm. That thought will go through their brain like, this guy kind of weird. Does he do drugs? This guy's a bit strange. Yeah, and then at least if it's your boss, well, then you could go, oh, well, after that bad experience, I won't ever have a boss again. I'll work for myself. Yeah, hmm. or Never you know. just get paid by the explos. Yeah. <laughs> explosive part. Get, <laughs> get, you, get, you get paid by the gallon. You know, so it's pretty mm. good. <laughs> yeah, I'd, 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 I'd go every time you meet your boss. You know. Like, excuse me, sir, just one second. <laughs> oh. Would you rather no penis oh. or five? Five penis. Where would they be? All yeah, in the same say... spot? <laughs> so, <laughs> like tentacles? <laughs> I picture it like around your waistband. You just have like so you have oh. one in the normal spot and then four Jesus. growing above it. Uh, no one needs oh. so many penises. It's like, but which you, one's you more know? of a shock when you reveal <laughs> to the person that you're gonna be? <laughs> like you just pull it down. And it's just nuts or five yeah. wieners. Five penises or no penis. God. Um, I don't know. It's 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 hard. Well, is it? Hang on. Is it? Is is it? I'm gonna say, is it problematic if you say you'd rather have five penises than no penises? Because then you, because then you'd be saying that. Oh, so you wouldn't. But but then again, well, for me, I would, I would, I wouldn't consider myself trans, so I wouldn't. God damn it. No penis or what five penis. What would you penises. pick, Zane? Honestly, I would have said none. Mm. I mean, so five penises, a... That's, a, that's a lot to manage. Actually, my dad says this to me. I don't know why, but every time he goes to the bathroom, he goes, Oh, Brandon, I'm going to go have a piss out of one of my dicks. You know, what do you mean, one? You got more than one? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> so, I'd have to ask him. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go with. Oh no, never mind. That is. What, is what, it problematic to answer that though? Like that's what I'm. Now that you said that, I'm thinking that. Like, am I? Or is it worse that we're now making it a thing? Okay, I would rather go with <laughs> no penis. Yeah, I'll go. No Brandon, penis as your well. answer. No penis. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather pull all the nails out of your fingers or pull all the teeth out of your mouth? Oh, Jesus. Um, before we answer this, on the topic yeah. of mouth and things like that, uh, we do yeah. have a quick shout-out to a listener of the podcast here. Oh, okay. I didn't know. We're going to shout him out like right now in this kind of spot. All right. Uh, yeah, might as well. Is... We're on the topic of mouths. Um, yeah. We here just want to give a shout-out to uh, a kid me and Brandon went to school with. Uh, Joel uh, did vet with him with Brandon. Uh yeah, we man. hope he's a listener of the show. He's a great bloke. We're all big fans of him. Uh, good Old luck, mate, Lockie, Lockie Peak. Peak. Yeah, Lockie Peak. Yeah, uh, poor kid he... was a, was attacked by his dog, and he's now in. It was pretty brutal. I I I I, I like I, I'd heard yeah. he'd been bitten, and I thought, oh okay, well hopefully it wasn't too serious. But looking at what what it had done to his it mouth. Did. Yeah, yeah, that was that was, that was insane. So we're thinking of you, mate, and uh, and and I heard that he's he's got a lot of alcohol to get through. So hopefully that can numb the pain, and uh, yeah. hopefully makes a full you a full recovery. recovery. That's it, man. Yeah, but uh, peel off, all, peel out, a little, pull all your nails anyway, out of your fingers, or pull <laughs> your teeth out of your mouth. <laughs> well, I'm pretty nails. sure that was. Uh, I think the teeth one was a. Uh, 
I think I remember it, it was one of Jigsaw's traps. It was you had you had to like you had some code that was written on the back of your teeth, and the only way to read what they were was to rip um, your teeth out, like some of your teeth out, yeah. I mean, like the wisdom teeth and a few of the others. And yeah, look, I think that's a hell. Like I, I think I have once accidentally peeled my, or maybe it was a dream I had. I just for some reason I just remember as a kid <laughs> that I that I peeled uh, the nail of my thumb back. I think it was a dream, but it was still traumatizing either way. But I still think that yeah, I'd rather do that than pull a tooth out, pull all of yeah, my I teeth out. Yeah, I saw a um, yeah, I saw a documentary on you know those things of how am I still alive kind of thing. I can't, I don't know if that's the exact name of it, but mm. these people shouldn't be alive. Like they just, they yep. just survived by some miracle. This guy was out in the ocean. I can't remember for how long, but he was out there for so long that you know when your hands get pruny. He hmm. had to actually pull each individual nail off. His hands got so, like, saggy and pruny. Oh, fuck. So he had to pull them off, like, each one. I just take them off. But, um, wait, wait, I feel why like the, did he have to do that, though? Wait, what, what, why did he... Because it was painful. It was painful, oh, okay, and I'm yeah. fairly sure his hands were saggy Jeez. as, and they weren't going to stay on much longer. And they are oh. basically going to come off. Fuck, man. Especially with all that salt water, man. Damn. Yeah. But anyway, um... I would peel my na- nails off because I feel like your, your nails will they grow back? Like even if you did that? Um, yeah, 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 they would. Yeah, because it's not so like they grow cause, back. Cause your teeth won't grow yeah. back. Mm, that's a good point. Mm. There you go. Not unless you're already old and you just had dentures or something. You just take your teeth out and exploit the the loophole. But that's you true. Know. Mm-hmm. What was that? What was that? All right. Uh, that was the oh, next one. I went ahead too quick. I got excited and clicked too early. Woohoo! Okay. Be a virgin forever or have sex with your brother slash sister one time? Be a virgin forever. Yeah, virgin forever. I might become a priest, maybe. Yeah, me too. I'll become a monk. Mm, become father. Oh my god! Knives have for fingers knives or penises for fingers. for fingers? Knives for fingers. So you'd either be... Freddy Krueger. Oh, okay, we took that. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Or, yep. Oh, well, same thing. I mean, they both got fucking knives yeah. on them. <laughs> well, I'll, so I'll go for have knives for fingers. You'd either be Freddy Krueger or the porn parody version of Freddy Krueger. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, well, yeah, that sounds like I just feel like, like having wieners for fingers, this wouldn't be practical either way. So either way, mm. you're not going to have fingers that work well. So I'd rather have knives because yeah. then, I don't know, join can, the military. You can use them for something. For weapon. Yeah. Yeah, but then you might actually cut your dick off when you. <laughs> when you I don't know, man. Edward Scissorhands does it some way. Freddy Krueger does yeah, it some he... way. I don't know. I don't think he pees, isn't he? Just a machine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because he, because he's more like a mannequin, a clay. Okay. Um. Yeah. You yeah, don't have to fingers. use your hands that, to that'd pee, be dude. Fun. Well, then if you have, well, yeah, yeah. if you have knives for fingers, you can just trim them. You can just cut them, I guess. And you can, and you there, can also be, be a, a professional way. chef, actually. Chop That's a good point, actually. Once. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Knives for fingers. Because having wieners, mm-hmm. man, that would not be very beneficial. I wouldn't Wiener be able to play finger. Guitar. I wouldn't be able to cook anything. Mm, that's true. You wouldn't be able to play guitar with knives. Or well, I mean, you could actually probably find a way. Not gonna lie, because yeah. the knives would probably be the metal. They could be a lot yeah, they, stronger. They could, they I could, could they blunt could the. I could make yeah. the blades blunt and then mm. use it as like a capo kind of thing. But um, with wieners, I don't know. That is gonna be floppy, man. Anyway, and and there'll be that that sensation. Like, do you want to yep. feel like a, your dick onto a onto a guitar? Yeah, and it'll probably <laughs> hurt. Strings. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it'll probably hurt a lot. Okay, mm. ready for the next one? Pretty much. Anyway, yep. Mm. Would you rather have HIV and live for twenty years, or cancer and live for ten years? Oh, okay. Um, well, I mean, I you've got any of that. You, you've you've got an extra ten years on top of cancer, but I mean, yeah, I think I'd go HIV and live for twenty years. All right, same. Whatever Brandon said there, Brandon can take the blow. All right, Zane, I hope we have a lot more shocking ones to come. (laughs) Uh, 
have sex with Megan Fox with a penis or Tom Hiddleston with a vagina? Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to rewrite that because I thought, hang on, yeah, of course I've got a penis. I say, oh, but now I, okay, <laughs> right. Um, well, that's basically like saying, would you like? It's it's it's, it's like saying, uh, you know, if you were to say like someone's body but with this person's head or whatever, you know. Yeah. But, okay. Ooh. Okay, oh, hey, so, answers? I already answered. Sorry. Uh, what'd you say, Joel, again? Sorry? I said Tom Hiddleston imme- immediately. I, like, Megan Fox is alright. It's not that Now, look, I, 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 I do Megan Fox with the penis. I don't have to do anything with the penis. I can stay away from the mm. penis. You know? Mm-hmm. Easy. You missed uh, out so... on banging Loki, dude. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't blame you, man. He's pretty irresistible, mm. Tom Hiddleston. Oh, hey, man, I'll, I'll do a three way with him. That, that'll be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm down. No. <laughs> so, when oh, I was geez. doing this, uh, I decided yeah. I'd ask Maddie her opinion on which one she'd go for. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she went Megan Fox, and her reasoning behind it was because she's smoking. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, Megan Fox is... I mean, she can turn anyone lesbian or bisexual for a little bit, you know? She's one of those, you know... Some people just have that effect on people, you know? Yeah. And so does Tom Hiddleston to Joel, apparently. But there you go. Yeah. yeah. No, I just thought it was... I don't know. I just kind of went with my gut and I went, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have your body found in a pile of sex toys or a pile of drugs? pile of oh, drugs. Jesus. But, I mean, like, a pile of sex... I mean, sex toys, that, that that's just more humiliating. That's just like, oh, what's this This dirty fuck's been doing before they died? It's like, yeah, that, like that's you die like, with but... a big, like, pink dildo across your face. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. It's just completely <laughs> taken <laughs> away the that. fact that you die. But if it's with yeah. dr- if you died on a pile of drugs, people would be more dramatic. Like, mm. I didn't know he was addicted, even if I wasn't. I mean, that's like, like being I mean? found be doing the erotic yeah. asphyxiation. Like, even that's embarrassing. Like, oh, he was, you know... But that's not as embarrassing being being on a pile of <laughs> on a, a bunch, bunch of sex toys. Yeah. If it's but drugs, like, it's like, oh, well, yeah, drugs. I mean, whatever. A lot of people going out that way. Mm. Yeah, pile of drugs. Drugs? Sleep with Donald Trump or Hitler? Ooh. Hitler only had one ball. I don't know if... But, uh, why is that the <laughs> thing you go to first? <laughs> Well, because I'm thinking, do I want, do I want one or two to be, to be, to be hitting? Why my is that the thing you think of first? Well, do like, I want not, two not better? The fact that do, he's do, a really bad person. Yeah, but do I want two battering rams hitting me or just the one? <laughs> yeah, but uh, you also want to be known as the guy who banged Hitler. Hey, man, I fucked Hitler. That's amazing. I fucked Trump. <laughs> Trump. Trump. You know, allegedly fucked a lot of people. If I fucked Hitler, man, I fucked Hitler. <laughs> And then, and then I could confirm, yeah, he only had one ball. I know, I slept with it. What? You slept with Hitler? Yeah, man, I fucked Hitler. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. Either one is not great. So, Joel, are you sleeping with a Dorito or with a world global destroyer? Destroyer? <laughs> That's a way to put it. Um, okay, how old would Hitler be? And how old would Trump be? Well, you'd think you'd probably be... Age of photo. Is this while he's doing the fucked up shit or when he was an artist? Age of photo. So, So currently he's... Yeah. It it looks like the the Supreme Leader. It looks very much 1938, possibly. Jesus Christ. You know what? Trump's still alive and he could be a sugar daddy and he can get shit tons of money, man. Going Trump. (laughs) That's and a good I won't point, be though. having as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah and if, you get if, lots if, of money. If you sleep, yeah, you sleep with Trump, and then you get yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. I'd still fuck Hitler just so I could say I fucked Hitler. That's cool, man. If you want that under your belt, that's cool. I would, I wouldn't want that <laughs> <laughs> anywhere in my lifetime, man. I wouldn't want anything connected to me to Hitler. Well, hey, man, when it happens, I'll let you know. <laughs> And that is the end of the 10 we had pre-prepared. Well, that was good really? fun. Thanks a lot for that, Zayn and Maddie. That was sweet. Wow. 
That's right, guys. Zane and his girlfriend made that. So, you know, we're not it, the it ones that came a lot. up with that. Zane and Maddie came That's up with right. that. So, so if you're going to cancel anyone, cancel the them. We're just, we're just acting on instinct. We can't help it. Like, we're, it's we're just, shocking. Yeah, we, we had a gun today. to our head, man. You know? We're in a Pretty much, situation yeah. kind of thing. Might as well have, so, man. You know. Fuck that. Was that another thump? Was that another ghost moving yeah, my around your house? straight in and then went, oh, and then left. Oh, okay. That's nice. My... my, my, um, my my family walks in and it's uh, oh good day, gay lord, you know. Yeah, that's what I get. <laughs> I know. I I might have to open the door for someone. Let me just have a check because my okay, you know, my siblings are incapable of doing that. Right. Yeah. No, that was sweet, Zane. That was a lot of fun. I feel like I mean some of them seemed a little more I don't know homoerotic than some, and I guess I did mm. say find us. Some some quite shocking ones, and I thought that they were quite confronting for Joel and I, you know. Yeah, but um, so no, I was good fun. Did the request? Yes, you I, and Maddie done well. Com- Maddie, we done it. We did the request well. You now so looking at did me? Did you like guys I had six heads or five penises? Yeah, that was a waste of fucking time. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Oh, man. I walk out, I'm like, and I walk out, open the door, no one's there, and I'm like, what's going on? And he goes, oh, dad's under the house. I'm like, then why did you come in, you fuck? Because usually he comes in because he's not allowed to open the door. And oh, I, and I always get banged strangers. on the window and the door constantly. And right. I'm hearing banging, and I'm going, oh my fucking god. And Adam comes right up here, and I'm like, alright, what? And I go out, and he goes, oh, he's just doing something in the house. I'm like, why'd you come in? What the fuck? Little <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, kids. God. This happens when I'm streaming too. Like it's so annoying because he'll walk in right, and yep. then I'm like, "Fantastic! You can clearly see I'm doing something." So I ignore him for a little bit, and he stands there watching me. So then I mute my mic, I turn to him, and I go, "What?" And he goes, "Oh, oh, you're, you're, you're doing, the, mm. you're doing the thing." And I'm like, "Yes. What is it?" And he goes, "Oh, never mind." And then he leaves and shuts the door. And he would do that repeatedly. Mm. throughout the thing and I'm like just say it I've just muted myself just say it to me <laughs> just go like, for you're, it like yeah. you're literally disrupting more by not saying it to me you know what I mean yeah. and like I, I've taken the time I've stopped I've acknowledged you because you're standing there for, for whatever it hasn't hasn't sunk in my ring light's on which should you know indicate something's going on I'm talking to this mm. anyway and then they just go oh never mind let me leave like, thanks. Yeah. That was ten minutes of content that I could have just fucking Unbelievable. done. Unbelievable, <laughs> fucking kids, man. Unbelievable, man. Mm. Unbelievable. Yeah. Have you guys seen that thing on Google today? How um, how Google's been urged to pay for news content from like and like for YouTube and for like Facebook and that because they're thinking that because all the media organizations are thinking, well, look you're profiting, you're making a huge profit off of us by putting our content on onto the digital platforms. So we're thinking that, you know, a lot of that money should be going directly to the content producers rather than the digital aggregators. And so today, mm. um, the uh, managing director, Mel Silver, was claiming that this code would be unfair to the company and would change the way it delivered services, which meaning that they would no longer be able to guarantee correct search results, and that news organizations could like artificially inflate their ranking on lo- online so that all the Google services would you change by off. by making them pay to be able to mm-hmm. you know use use their software and that and, and use like their content, and that so it's it's interesting what's gonna happen but yeah because there was it was an open letter today that google it saying how you know this regulation is going to risk like all of your kind of your google results kind of coming up with things a lot worse than you were looking for so Mm. they're concerned that you know so they're hoping that they're trying to change this proposal so they can protect how we search and that because and and because the problem was that this this is a you know debate that's been going on for years now but because they're the digital uh, so Google and that they're arguing that well look we're not actually making that much money from it 
you know, so there's no point. But now they're thinking, well, look, we're going to start charging you because you know, basically because you know, free to wear mainstream media, it's it's start it's it's dying out, and that and because the digital online is more mainstream and, and it's taking over, and that so, yeah. you know, it it'll be interesting what happens with that because yeah, news media businesses reckon they you yeah, should be paid a fair amount of return for those benefits, which I mean, fair enough, you know, but yeah. So that was something interesting. Um, what other current events we got here? Uh, you guys know the um, that book and was adapted into a movie, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas? Yeah. Yep. Well, the the writer of that book, uh, John Boyne, he was he, he was um, called out on Twitter the other day. Um, over a really confusing paragraph in his latest novel called A Traveller at the Gates of Wisdom. And mm. in the paragraph... So it's it's a it's a book that's... It's meant to be like, you know, a serious history kind of book that's kind of, you know, in, in the same kind of vein as The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And there's a section in it in which a character <laughs> is explaining how they died a dress. It goes on to list the ingredients for the dye, which include bizarre items such as an... Octoric eyeball, red lizol foss, and four Hylian shrooms. Now, if those ingredients sound weird, it's because they're straight out of the Zelda game Breath of Wild. So, oh, right. so when when this guy was writing the book, he's like, "Oh, how do you, how do you make dye or whatever?" Or in the year that this is set, he just found the the first thing, and it's from the game Zelda making this potion and and those ingredients are all monsters and creatures and that so it's <laughs> it's just made a total mockery of, of the whole oh. of the whole paragraph <laughs> <laughs> oh man so that's been very Damn, interesting son. for the writer yeah, yeah. um well here we've what got what episode are we on by the way can i just uh oh, yeah 44 okay sweet Sorry, I just wanted to make sure. So when I announce that certain thing's going to happen for 50, oh, we're, we, we're we'll all... make sure to announce that soon. Sweet as we are. Um, here I've got yep. uh, an eerie video that shows sheep frozen in place for hours due to a change in weather. I'll share my screen. Mmm. Okay. There's a herd of sheep just... <laughs> and in Any classic now? online news fashion, taking fucking forever to load anything. It's probably going to show us a 30 second ad. <laughs> Yay. There we go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. All right, is that? God, oh, it's on TikTok. Okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is frozen. Wow. So the sheep are just like, nope. Fuck that video is terrible and terrible. Yeah, oh, sorry was. guys, that was fucking shit. <laughs> I might even cut that from this whole fucking episode. That was embarrassing. Who is the TikToker? Fucking... Um, no fucking clue. And now my whole screen. Look, I'm gonna stop sharing. See if that stops the fucking lag. Sorry guys. Um, Rory Davis. I think that's found that's it. The guy's name. You found it. You found it. All right. Yep. Just give me a second. Uh, because no, I can probably share it and have a better quality video. Yep. Oh. Thanks, thanks, Jamie. Save the day. Ding. Oh, that was that was funny. We're talking about wet, the frozen sheep. I'm like, fuck yeah, it is frozen. Yeah. Mm. It's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. Stuck on. They're so frozen. Seconds. The fucking video's frozen. Damn. And I've just so got that, oh, yeah, man, that fucking sound, that, oh, yeah, man, whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. I'm like, ow, how the that fuck alien, do I turn that, that off? Like, the, like, alien yeah. chick, oh, yeah, man. 
Ich sage ja den Uri ne. Why is that playing over the top of the sheep being frozen? That's like the most inappropriate so Like, I get it, it's meant to be mysterious, but like... <laughs> but it's just... And I, when I hear that, I just cringe. I just think of just shitty TikTok videos. That's all I, that's all I imagine. I've only seen a good all one right. good version of that. Uh -huh. Which yeah. was the Elon Musk... Is Moss it just the video one. that's showing? Like... Yep. Cool. Here's the actual video. In... More decent quality. Right. <laughs> the video is really static too. It's still pretty fucked, <laughs> but... Fuck. But okay, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah so we they're all... It. All these sheep are just totally still from the mm. change in weather because the weather's then really cold. Yeah. <laughs> Spooky, man. Mm. Thanks for that, Zane. Um, <laughs> next, Ooh. we've got um, newlywed shamed for a wedding cake... That looks like burnt and mutilated cow flesh. Now, I'll show you the picture of the cake. Now, they asked for a cattle-style um, wedding cake, so kind of to look like a brand. But here's, yep. here's what it turned out like. Some people have described it as a crusty-infested nipple. So <laughs> right. So, um, enjoy. Right. So that's the Thanks. top part of the cake. Ew! And then there's the rest of it. <laughs> it looks like it's made out of leather and earwax. Yeah, it looks like Leatherface's fucking cake he does for. Yuck! That looks really mm. bad. So needless to say, the bride and groom were quite embarrassed when that was what the cake maker came back with. Yeah. He's like, is that, is well, that I, cattle enough if they're for going you? For a hor if they're going horror themed, then they did pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty Texas good Texas Chainsaw detail, Massacre but... themed, yeah. Fucking Fuck. hell. Alright, uh, last disgusting. one here I've disgusting. got disgusting. is uh, the discovery of a 400-foot ice ship on Google Earth that sparked conspiracy theories. Uh, this is a... So it's a frozen formation uh, among icebergs between New Zealand and Antarctica that appear to resemble a ship. Just bring that up on here. Um, so that's what it looks like from a distance. Right. And then... If I can fucking get down there a bit... F okay, so... so... Here's what it looks like up close. So you can okay. clearly see the hull and the chimneys and the deck of what looks like it could be a boat. Now yeah. that's... So, yeah, 400 feet long. Now, some conspiracy theorists are saying that it's it's like a... Um, that for when uh, the world finally ends, when the Canary, Canary Islands finally blow up and that that they, the, the government has been... that some organisations has been making these these ships underground to, like, house all the important people, all the rich people. Ah. I mean, take that as you will. But, um... But, yeah. Oh! Right. And, um, yeah. That's that for current events, guys. Nice! Nice! Very nice. Sweet edge. Man. So, uh, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, we may or may not have someone coming on soon. Yep, we can't uh, make any promises because anything no could happen. Promises. But fingers crossed. But, uh, we, yeah. Next but we episode. We may, may not have someone. Yeah, maybe. That's right. Maybe. Maybe possibly. next episode, maybe later, but, maybe in a couple of look, episodes. But exactly, maybe not. So, so don't keep your hopes up. But hey, there is a but, special hey. guest coming soon, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, should we do the announcement of what's going to happen for 50? Or I reckon we, we should. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Go for it. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there. 50th episode. We're probably going to post this on, his, on Instagram mm -hmm. stuff to make sure yep. you guys don't miss out. But on the 50th episode, we're going to be uh, doing a live podcast. So you guys can join in and sit down and chill with us, talk with us. Yeah. Well... You know, we, we can mm. reply to some of you guys. But we're going to be doing it live. We're going to do it on Twitch. 
on and Twitch. And then we'll post it. We'll post it to YouTube afterwards. That's if right. We, uh, so if you miss, miss it, it, you can always watch it later. But if you want to be involved in discussion and content and that, feel free to jump on. Yeah. We'll be. We haven't got a date sorted yet because it, this will be in about three weeks, two and a half weeks or something. Yeah. But we'll 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 post about it. We'll you know, and hopefully we'll we can, remind you and tell you. Yeah, about that's it. But right. Yeah, just, It'll be on Twitch, and then you guys can jump on, leave some comments, you know, all that stuff, and then, yeah. yeah. So that'll be fucking, fucking good fun. But yeah. It will anyway, be. that's Ooh. that's us, the Skeptic and the Dude. This has been episode 44. We may or may not have a guest next episode. You'll just have to wait Maybe. and see, guys. Either way, but yeah. we will still see you on Thursday. See ya. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Kinky. Hello, viewers of the Skeptic and the Dude podcast. I am here to let you know that if you don't subscribe slash follow, you ain't getting to heaven. Peace out. <laughs>